I'm going to die. There's something in the bushes. If I die and somebody finds this, let my family know I love them. Saturday. I'm gonna sit down on this bench right here. And it's like 60 something degrees, just absolutely gorgeous. But today all I did was go and took off, went to Lowe's, got a haircut, finished up refrigerators this week. The last video that I put out, I uh, was saying how they were gonna have two days of labs, just constant. Uh, fixing refrigerators like crazy, right? And we did. Uh, I didn't get a lot of video of it because we were busy. But we uh, spent Wednesday and Thursday just tearing apart and, you know, they would bug them and do all kinds of things to try and trick us. And basically we had to rewire fridges all day check all the components so that was awesome and then Thursday afternoon right before lunch they had us strip the, the refrigerators down and we ended up uh, putting all the parts on the table all mixed up and then he added some broken parts and there were furnace parts there were all kinds of parts in there so we had came back from lunch and we had to put together a Norcold fridge and a Dometic fridge from that pile. We had a lot of fun. I ended up with uh, the control board on one of mine was bad. So I'm going through all the troubleshooting. It took me a little bit. And then I figured out the, the control board was bad, so that was good. And I can say without a doubt that uh, after this week of refrigerators, I would feel comfortable showing up at uh, an RV with a non-working fridge and diagnosing it and uh, trying to fix it, and get the parts for it. Monday starts air conditioners and heat pumps. So that's gonna be fun. If it's anything like the refrigerators, I'm looking forward to it for sure. I was, at first I was wondering, when we, when the first day of refrigerators, I'm like, I, I, I don't think one week's gonna be enough to learn how to fix refrigerators and diagnose them and after now after now now that we've completed that week of refrigerators one week was just right uh, it was a pretty intense uh, few days of working on refrigerators but you get it because you're doing it over and over and, and the instructors you know they're great so I don't know what else to say if you're if you're wondering if, uh, if it's worth it, if it's worth the price. So far, I'm, I'm yeah, it's worth it. Um, like I said, so next week I've got refri uh, refrigerators. Oh my gosh, I still have refrigerators on the brain. Close my eyes and I see refrigerators. Next week we've got air conditioning. And then the next two weeks, one of them will be exterior stuff. And uh, the other week will be furnaces and hot water heaters, or just water heaters if you want to be technical. Hit that subscribe button, share this video, anybody that might be interested in going to NRVTA, getting certified, or just doing the fundamentals class and getting registered, or just doing it for fun and just to know your RV better, I don't think you can go wrong. So far it's worth it, and like I said, it's just my opinion, man. I don't, I'm not getting anything. They're not giving me anything for free. I'm paying out of my pocket for everything. But at the end of every class, they give you a little survey, anonymous survey, and you can they ask you what they can do better. So that's good, they're, they're listening to feedback. All right, I'm not gonna talk your ear off. Go back and get some dinner. Start editing this little video.